So our recent work, which is the first paper was published in uh, uh, 2012, so it's uh, three years ago. Uh, after many years of uh, uh, studies, uh, we found the technology uh, with uh, which we can identify those cells population which carry the specific memory information and we could also manipulate those memory cells. This is a, not a human study, it's an it's a animal model, mouse model. This memory uh, carrying cell is called engram cell, memory engram cell. Memory information is engraved, like in a symmetry stones. Uh, you engrave uh, uh, letter names or letters just like uh, just like that in in the cell uh, populations. The memory information is engraved. That's why we call it the engram cells. Okay, so that's what we uh, we did uh, during the past three years, and uh, this is a real uh, breakthrough in the memory research because uh, for. Uh, 100 years or even longer, we had this idea, but nobody has been able to identify these specific uh, uh, engram uh, holding cells, and they could not uh, manipulate those cells by, uh, by uh, technology. Yes, we can. We did. We did. So, you know, we usually, uh, rely on our memory in the day-to-day -day life, okay? Uh, you, know, you go to your office and uh, you have a memory how to go to your office, okay? And you are almost unconsciously using it, that memory. And now we can really manipulate the cells which uh, uh, carry the specific uh, uh, memory, memory engrams. For instance, more, our most recent work um, we have a mouse uh, model of uh, the uh, depression. Depression patients are depressed often because they have had many uh, negative experiences. The fearful and uh, experience or experience that gave them a lot of anxiety or things like that. And then they can't recall. They can't recall good experience they had before. I mean, everybody have had some good experience, but they are, it's suppressed, okay? But, but because of this excessive uh, uh, con the accumulation of uh, negative uh, experiences, okay? But uh, we could uh, uh, model that in the mouse, and then we ac ac activated this artificially, then uh, depression is cured in mice. Okay. So you can tell from this that we, you asked me whether we have uh, engineered the, the me memory and that's exactly what we did. So you can even, it's a mouse model at the moment, okay? It's not human, it's not directly applicable to human yet. But uh, in the future, it's quite possible some safe technology will be invented, which can be applied to human to activate uh, uh, the pleasurable memory that uh, the depression patient uh, have had before, and they may be uh, become uh, one way to uh, it, it's like a deep brain stimulation therapy, and it may become a part of that for for disease like a depression. So we may be able to uh, prolong, you, you know, the Alzheimer patients. Eventually, the important uh, cell, the neurons, will die, okay? But there is a long period before they start, uh, the cells start dying, there is a long period where the uh, patients already have lost uh, some uh, memory. The Ingram cells are still there, apparently, and yet they have lost uh, memory, okay? And I, I think that the situation is very similar to the situation where the, um, the memory engram is still there, and, but you cannot, uh, uh, they don't have the access. The, you can't recall it. You may be even able to delay the 
the uh, degradation of cells. We don't know until we do it. So there is a hope. It's not that something we can do next year, but uh, there is a hope because the memory is still there.